Welcome to Mika Model College Online Tutorial. We hope at the end of this lesson, you will have acquired the expected learning outcome. Sit down and listen attentively as we introduce. Hello, students. You are welcome back to another session of English class. I remain Mrs. Rukayat Aminu. Today's topic is article. In our last class, we treated countable and uncountable now. And I told us that we'll be looking at article and see how we can use it together with either countable or uncountable now. Now, what are articles? Articles are unique type of adjective that communicate some important information about a noun. Articles refer to noun. Remember the definition of your noun. Nouns are naming words. Articles also specifies its definiteness. Now, this is a formal way of telling us, this is a formal way of telling us that articles let everyone know whether a noun is unique or specific in the sentence or not. Now, English has two types of articles. It has at a uh, definite articles and indefinite articles now we're going to discuss these two types of articles in detail the definite article the definite article is the word the t-h-e the it limits the meaning of a noun to one particular thing when you're talking about a specific thing you use the article the then if you remembered a topic on proper and common noun. We said common noun are general nouns, why proper noun are specific noun. So in this article we're going to discuss all these things. So they have to limit the meaning of a noun to one particular thing. When you talk about a specific and not a general thing, then you use article there. The definite article can be used with singular, plural, countable and uncountable now the boy the boys the with uncountable nouns that we can also use it with what uncountable nouns the information the piece of information given today that is article what day in fact articles come before what nouns whether they are singular plural countable or uncountable now let us look at the following examples and it will help us to understand what article is all about your friend might tell you your friend might ask you a question your friend might ask you a question are you go I, will you be attending the party the article they use in that sentence help us to know that your friend is referring to a specific party that both of you know about will you be attending the party so article the is used in that sentence and it helps everyone to know that your friend is referring to a specific party that both of you know about now the following examples will also help us to know what article the is all about after the long day the cup of tea tasted good they is the article used in that sentence and the use of article they in that sentence make us to know that there is one particular day that is long and there is a particular cup of tea that tasted what good then the second example please give me the armor this armor is possible has been introduced to you so you are talking about the armor for the second time then you use article the when you are talking about something for the second time you use article the that is when that thing has been introduced to you for example i saw a boy I saw a boy, the boy. So that first sentence is an introduction. 
you, are, you don't know the boy. But the second sent sentence is talking about what? The boy in the first sentence. It is giving us more information about the first sentence. Now, the third example. Please give me the red hammer. The blue one is too small. Article D is using that sentence. It has specified the type of hammer you need. Then the other example is this. Please give me the nail. Is a specific nail, not a general one. You can as well say, give me, you can as well tell the person, give me a nail. But in this case, it has been specified. Give me the nail. Then the last example, give me the large nail. We have several nails, we have many nails. But this person is saying, give me the large one. There is a large one among the nails. So B, article D is used in this sentence. It's the only one strong enough to hold this painting. So these are the examples uh, these are the examples using article D. Now, uses of definite article D. How best can we use article D? How do we use article D? One, I told us earlier that article D, article D are used before nouns. They come before nouns. It is singular, plural, countable, or uncountable noun. Then, one well, another uses of the is we use the when we talk about something for the second time. I mentioned it earlier. Or when we talk about unique or specific thing. For example, I live in a small town. Then that sm the town is near a large city. I live in a small town. Anybody can say I live in a small town. But where is this small town? So article D in that sentence adds to give more information about the small town. The town is near a large city. The, the second example, I like getting present. When we talk about specific things, this is the example. I like getting present. Present in that first sentence, it's referring to general. You don't know the kind of present or the type of present you're talking about. It refers to what? General present. But in the second sentence says, the present I received for my birthday were fantastic. It has specified the presents the person received for her birthday. Then the second one, the second uses of um, Article D. When we talk about unique things, we use Article D. There are some things in this world that are unique. We have the stars, we have the moon, we have the earth, we have the, we have the sun. All these are unique things. And Article D should be used. Not a sun, not a moon, not a earth or an earth. But we use what? They, because they are unique nouns. Then the third we use is, is this. We use, the, we use the when country is plural. We use the, article the, when country is plural. We are the People's Republic of China. The People's Republic of China that we're talking about people. So it is in plural. Then we have the Philippines. We're talking about more than one island. In the first example, we're talking about more than one person. And in the second one, we're talking about more than one island. So that is what the article D is used before Philippines. Then we have the United Kingdom. We're talking about more than one country. Then the last one, the United States of America, we refer to, we referring to more than one state. Then let us quickly move to indefinite article and let's see what we have there. Indefin the indefinite article takes two forms. It is the word A when it precedes a word that begins with a consonant. Listen very carefully. It is the word A when it begins a word that when it precedes that when it comes before a word that begins with a consonant. And it is the word and when it precedes a word that begins with a vowel. The indefinite article indicates that a noun refers to a general idea rather than a particular thing. 
definite article V helps to limit the meaning of a noun to a particular thing. But indefinite article A and N helps to what? Refer to a general idea rather than a particular thing. Your friend might ask you, you might ask your friend, can I bring a gift to the party? So the article A used in that sentence is referring to a general gift, not a specific gift. And your friend might answer, I would like to bring an apple pie. So an apple and used in that sentence also indicates a general what item. It has not specified anything. It's even possible your friend does not have any apple pie yet. So A and an helps to what? They, they indicate and uh, now in general not speci not specific now then let us look at examples of this article how to use article a in sentence or article n in sentence please give me a book any book will do when i ask when i ask you to give me a book you don't know the, the specific type of book i'm talking about so any book will do i have not mentioned a book but I just ask you to give me a book. Now, the second example, please give me an autobiography. Any autobiography will do. It's still the same thing. You have not specified any autobiography. Then, after a long day, a cup of tea tastes good. After a long day, a cup of tea tasted good. So, the article used in that sentence, A, has to tell us that there is a long day that any day could be long and any cup of tea could taste what? Good. It has not specified, unlike the first example I gave to us, I say after the long day, the cup of tea tasted particularly good. Good. It helps to specify the long day. It helps to specify that a particular day was long. But in this sentence, it means all this were long after a long day a cup of tea tasted good now indefinite articles with uncountable nouns can we use indefinite articles with uncountable nouns we're going back to our definition of uncountable nouns uncountable nouns are nouns that are either difficult or impossible to count so nouns that are difficult or impossible to count, like we, well, like we have the intangible things. We have intangible things, e.g. information, air. We have liquids, milk, wine, and things that are too large or numerous to count, e.g. equipment, sand, and uh, rice. All this we had discussed when we treated countable and uncountable nouns. Now, now that we have all this as uncountable nouns, can we use Indefinite article A and an with all these nouns. Remember, the indefinite articles cannot be used with uncountable nouns. It is wrong to say, please give me a water. This statement is incorrect because water is uncountable. It cannot be counted. And it should not be used with indefinite article A or an. But you can say, please give me some water. You can also pair it with what a countable noun. You can say, please give me a bottle of water. Please give me an ice cube. Please give me some ice. So all this, you can now see that indefinite articles cannot be used with uncountable nouns. Because uncountable nouns cannot be counted. So A and N gives number, a boy an orange and uh, then let us look at do we have an exceptions when we're talking about indefinite and definite article there is an exception when it comes to choosing article a or n there are a few exceptions to the general rule of using a before words that start with consonants and and before words that begin with vowels the first letter of the word anna Yes, we all agree that H starts the word honor. So it's a consonant word. It is a consonant word. But in spite of its spelling, it sounds as what? Vowel sound. That honor, the first letter there is unpronounced. 
So when we are choosing the article to use with Anna, we don't use a Anna, but we use what? An Anna. Because the, um, the, the, the letter, the first letter, sounds as what? Vowel sound. For example, you don't say, my mother is a honest swimming, woman. Sorry. You don't say, my mother is a honest woman. That statement is incorrect. But you say, my mother is an honest woman. Because the first letter of the word honest is silent. And it is pronounced as vowel. Similarly, when the first letter of a word is vowel, but it's pronounced with a consonant sound, then we use article A. Example, she's, if you said she's a United States senator, that statement is incorrect. But you say she is a United States, she is a United States senator. That is the correct one. Now, I want you to be very careful with some letters also. We have letter E and letter U. All these are pronounced as Jew. All the, these two letters are pronounced as you when we're talking about our, um, I mean, speech word. They are pronounced as you. So be careful when you are choosing an article for that letter. We have um, a, a university and not an university. We have a European country and not an European country. So some really, in summary, country, uh, in summary, articles are special, unique adjectives that communicate some information about noun. And it helps to what? Give the definiteness of a noun in a sentence. Right now we are true with uh, nouns as one of the parts of speech. In our next class we'll be looking at another part of speech which is pronoun and there you're going to understand pronoun very well and how to use it instead of a noun. Thank you. God bless you.